Ubisoft recently released their 11th installment in the wildly popular Assassin's Creed series, taking place in the earliest setting the series has ever seen, 431 BC in ancient Greece. players are given the option of choosing either a male or female protagonist and playing the entire story with that singular character. Welcome to the Ruby Tuesdays review for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. On top of multiple protagonists, the game features an expanded dialogue tree and a bigger focus on the RPG elements that were introduced in last year's installment, Assassin's Creed Origins. Right off the bat, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a gorgeous game with striking landscapes. I should probably not climb on this. Ancient Greece is gorgeous in Odyssey and I often found myself exploring solely to see more of the environment. From vast countrysides to sprawling cities like Athens, the visuals in Assassin's Creed Odyssey are second to none. For Sparta! A welcome change from previous installments is the implementation of Exploration Mode. Listed as the recommended way to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Exploration Mode encourages players to explore the world. Unlike the standard Guided Mode, Exploration Mode does not show everything on the map to the player. Instead of being told exactly where to go to the next mission, you are given clues as to where the next mission will be, and it's your duty to find it. I typically would take the fastest route to my mission in previous Assassin's Creed games, but with Odyssey, I found myself seeing more of the map than I normally would. <laughs> Ubisoft has created a truly incredible world with this game. Expanding on last year's revamp of the series, Odyssey continues to push further into the RPG genre, with branching dialogue options, skill trees and meaningful side quests. Dialogue options truly felt meaningful, with options I had picked earlier in the game coming back to haunt and help me later in the game. Assigning skill points felt more meaningful this year as well, and this allowed me to fine-tune my character into exactly the type of character I prefer to play with. The side quests in the game all felt important and added to the main story, and with each side quest I completed, the world became more fleshed out and added to the overall story. Let us meet our fate, shall we? Side quests can often become a grind, but these side quests managed to add enough to the game that I didn't mind tackling them. Playing as Cassandra is my favourite part of the whole game. Ubisoft has managed to create the most interesting character in the series and one of the most well written. The voice acting for Cassandra is great, and the writing is even better. Well. She has a personality that rivals another favourite female protagonist of mine, Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. Cassandra is portrayed as strong and independent, and she is as capable as any of her male counterparts in the previous entries. My only real complaints with the game are the various glitches I encountered throughout my playthrough. Some glitches were one-time things, while others consistently occurred throughout my game. I'd be riding my horse through town and the screen would freeze, unfreeze, freeze, and then unfreeze again. This would happen almost any time I would enter a town. Other glitches include a dog getting stuck in a box, drowning my horse, Artrax, you're sinking. Come on! and new items occasionally not showing up when I would pick them up. While these were inconveniences, they didn't hurt the overall gameplay, and I'm thankful that there were no game-breaking glitches encountered. Overall, this is my favourite Assassin's Creed in the long series, and that's really saying something. I thought Assassin's Creed Origins was as good as the series could get. Assassin's Creed Odyssey takes what Origins did well and expands upon it. They've created an even more beautiful environment that I wanted to explore, and the RPG elements, along with a phenomenal protagonist in Cassandra, helps pull me along and get me back in for more. Despite some minor glitches throughout the game, this is a phenomenal game and needs to be played. And with all of that said, I'll give Assassin's Creed Odyssey 9 out of 10. Please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the review, and until next time, live long and Tuesday.